Hi and welcome to my new video series, Guitar Lessons with Alec. Uh, for those of you that are stuck at home uh, during the quarantine. Okay, so if you've never played guitar before and you'd like to start, uh, I'm going to show you how to do that. So today we're going to talk about just the basics of the different parts of the guitar, terminology, how to hold the guitar, and then of course, how to pluck a string on a guitar. Go ahead and cozy up on the couch, grab a cup of tea, uh, grab your guitar, and we'll get started. Okay, so the first thing we're going to talk about is just the general parts of the guitar and uh, just the general anatomy here. So uh, here we have a guitar. This is my uh, Fender steel string acoustic guitar. And you can see it's got this nice uh, sunburst finish on the front here, which is really nice, I think. All right, so first we have the body of the guitar. Let's give this its general shape. We have the neck up here. We have the headstock or the head. Down here we have the, the bridge. Uh, on top here we have the sounding board. And then we have the strings are attached to the bridge here and we have six strings on the guitar, in case you didn't know that. Uh, up here we have our tuning pegs, tuning gears, tuning mechanisms, whatever you want to call them. Uh, the tuners, here we turn them and they adjust the tension of the strings and that changes the pitch. And then of course we have the sound hole here and then uh, here on top of the neck we have what's called the fretboard, or the fingerboard it's sometimes referred to as. And a very important part of the instrument. Uh, so here we have these spaces between these bars here. And so each space is called fret. And so what we do is we press down on the string in the spaces between the bars here, and that changes the pitch of the string, and we get all sorts of different notes. So the fretboard or fingerboard. All right, another thing to talk about is that there are many different types of guitars and uh, you might have one that's a little bit different from this one uh, at home. So this one is a, is a steel string acoustic guitar, uh, but there's also a electric guitars, uh, which are not hollow, they're a solid body and they use amplification to make the sound. There's classical guitars that have nylon strings, which is uh, uh, what I normally play on. And of course with the steel strings, there's different types of steel string guitars. This one is a standard concertina series guitar. It's got a bit of a smaller body, which I like, uh, but other ones, different shapes. There's a dreadnought shape, some have cutaways here. But essentially all the guitars, they're the same in terms of their tuning, how many strings they have, and the basic technique of how to play these instruments uh, is essentially the same until you get into more advanced uh, repertoire. So the next thing we're going to talk about is how to hold the instrument to play it. Uh, so if you're playing most music, folk music, jazz, blues, rock and roll, you're going to hold it like this. So you're going to take this part of the guitar and put it on your right leg, like so. Uh, now you want to make sure that the neck of the guitar is facing a slight angle upwards towards your face, just to make it a little bit easier to play. So we want to avoid having it bend too far down this way, you're slunched over, you have to reach for the, the notes, it's much, it's much harder. So you want to make guitar playing as easy as possible, keep it up on a nice, comfortable, slight angle, and it'll work just fine. Uh, the next thing we're going to take our, our right arm here, place it on the top of the guitar like this. So about right here, that's where you want to rest it on top. You can adjust it a little bit here and there to make sure that you're comfortable, but ideally, you want it to be so that your hand falls naturally in front of the strings so that you're not reaching for them or overextending, right? So we want to make sure that we avoid doing this, especially uh, because you can create some shoulder tension. So resting the arm of the guitar on top like this, make it comfortable. Uh, the other thing to, to note is your sitting position. You should have both of your feet either out in front of you, or you can uh, cross your legs like this to make it more stable. I do that often. You can hold it like this too. Uh, whatever you find most comfortable, make sure that you're sitting up straight, uh, your shoulders are, are square, you know, you're not hunched over, uh, avoiding any 
and sort of uh, uncomfortable positions. So make sure you're sitting up straight, sitting comfortable, and it'll work just fine. Okay, so now that we're sitting comfortably, uh, we're gonna learn how to pluck a string on the guitar. So to do that, we're gonna take one of these, right here. Uh, this is called a pick. And what we're gonna do with this is, uh, we're just gonna toss that away. Because maybe you don't have a pick at home, you can't find it in your drawer someplace. Uh, but guess what, we've got five tools to play strings with right here. So uh, today we're gonna learn how to use our fingers to play the guitar. So to do that, we're gonna take our thumb and we're gonna plant it on the top string right here. So this is the low six string, and we're gonna place our thumb here, and that's gonna become our anchor. So this is what's gonna keep our hands steady when we're playing the other strings. Now we're gonna take our index finger, and with the index finger, we're just gonna pluck the first string, the highest string, and we're gonna use what's called the rest stroke. So as we pluck the string, we're going to rest on the string right below it. So plucking the first string, and then resting on the second string, like that. I'll show you again. Just like that, okay? Now the power of this comes from this knuckle, so you're kind of moving your whole finger in sort of a, just a pushing motion, like this. Just imagine that you're pushing the string, and as you push, of course, it moves out of the way, it bends, and then it bounces back into place, and that's what creates our, our nice sound. Like that. So try that a few times until you kind of get comfortable with the feeling of just plucking that first string. Now once you got the hang of that, we're going to take our middle finger and we're going to do the same thing. So try it now with the middle finger. Again, the power comes from this knuckle here, You're kind of put moving the whole finger. So I want to make sure that you don't do this with your hand, right? Where it's it's just, it's just not as powerful and you can get kind of a weird pulling teeny sound with it, but we want a nice round full sound, so like that. A good way to practice this on a flat surface, if you have a quarter, you can just practice pushing the quarter. That's a good way to practice this technique without the guitar. Okay, so now that we got the hang of playing with the index finger and the middle finger, we're now going to learn one of the most important techniques for playing the guitar, which is walking the fingers. Okay, so for walking the fingers, or alternating, uh, we're just going to walk the fingers back and forth on the first string, like this. Okay, so try that with me, uh, nice and slow, and you can go ahead and watch your own fingers as you do this, so you can visualize what you're doing and really focus. Because it might be a little bit awkward at the beginning and uncomfortable, but with slow practice and just a little bit of focus, it should come along no problem, okay? So once that's comfortable, you can pause this video a few times, rewind it, play along with me, whatever you need to do. But once you've got comfortable with that, uh, the next step is of course to play a rhythm. So we're gonna play a very simple rhythm to kind of learn how to control the motion of our fingers. So if you've taken music class before and you know your quarter notes and half notes, the rhythm will be four quarter notes followed by two half notes. Now, if you don't know that and you have no idea what I'm talking about, uh, no worries, it's just gonna be four short notes followed by two long notes. And I'll show you what I mean. So it'll sound like this. So I'll do it one more time and you can play along nice and slow. So you can get the hang of it. Ready, go. Okay, once that becomes comfortable, you can try it on the other strings. So you can do it on the second string. Third string. Fourth string. Stop there because if we get up to the fifth and sixth string, it's a little bit too low for the fingers and we have no place to plant our thumb. So we're just going to stop there at the fourth string. Okay, so if you're following along with this video and you've just played up to the fourth string, uh, you'll probably notice that your guitar is out of tune. And it is my guess that your guitar is out of tune if this is your 
Bridge Guitar Lesson. So for the next video, uh, we're going to learn how to tune our guitar.